Today I'm going to show you six diamond cone drill series dribbling moves to improve your agility and dribble moves. Why do this diamond cone dribble series to improve your agility and ball handling skills? Number one objective for me that I teach at Attack Basketball, when we talk about being shifty, right, finding your feet, making moves, and then doing different dribble moves is you want to become unpredictable. So when you're in a game, you can let the game dictate your actions. You can actually have a defender in front of you and you feel confident, comfortable making a move in uncomfortable situations, that's why. This also is a dribble and footwork skill enhancement drill, right? Again, not only to where you are unpredictable, you are highly aware of how to make moves on the move to finish and I have percentage of the basket, okay? So let's get right into our six dribble moves we're gonna focus on and feature to make you a dominant ball handler and finish around the rim. Let's get right to that first move. The first move is what I call my bounce series. When I say bounce, nothing more than when a defender does a great job of taking away your straight line drive, you actually look to change their angles and shrink their spacing by kind of bouncing out or bouncing in. And what you wanna do is trying to get them to float with you to kind of mesmerize them to kind of change speeds, change direction. So I start off my float series as the first move. So what I'm gonna do, kind of walk you through the first time, I'm gonna start at this first cone right here, this diamond series, and I'm gonna float to my left, I'm gonna float to my right, I'm gonna change directions, go right into a pickup, and lay the ball up. So again, I wanna be fluid with my movements. So here I go, I'm gonna go two. One right, one left, all right? Float, float, pick up, Lay the ball up, okay? Also back, ball in right hand. I wanna float right, float left, change directions, pick the ball up, lay the ball up. All right, so now that's the first move I want you working on, a float series. Now let's talk about an inside out, a change of speed. I wanna change my defender stance by dipping my hips out my head and be laying with my feet on changing speeds. Inside out, right, here I go. Inside out move, inside out, inside out attack. Get to the basket, mix up how you finish. Inside out, inside out, attack. Finish at the hoop. Okay, now let's get into moves three and four. Let's talk about changing directions first. For me, what I teach at attack basketball is awareness again. When you see a defender's chest, that's when you change directions, okay? See chest, change direction, no chest go. The cone represents the chest. What I wanna work on, on purpose, making dribble changes of direction and they're going to scoring options. Okay, here I go. Change, 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 power finish. Hustle back. Uh, change direction, change direction, change direction. Finish that. And I don't want to do two for the sake of the, the video to keep it nice and concise so you get the idea of it. Okay, now move number four is a combination dribble. We call that a go to slash counter. Your go to to me is a my go-to move, I should say, has always been a change of direction between the legs I'm tall at six, seven. Then my counter might be behind the back. It might be a double crossover. It might be a crossover between. That's a combination move. So now moves four, we're gonna work on combination moves. Let's get it. Cross between, cross between, attack. Quick crosses, quick between. Double cross, double cross, attack. Two foot finish. We're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month and we need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Five and six is more on the pressure release series where we want to learn now to play basketball more confrontationally. Meaning by confrontation is when I'm facing you, I'm trying to create separation. But when I got to turn my body to the side, it's more confrontation because someone's on me. So now pressure release is more confrontational. So now I'm working on my pressure release. I got three moves I'm gonna make to kind of finish out our series of a diamond cone. First one's gonna be a pressure release into a forward hip swivel. The second move's gonna be a pressure release to a reverse step back attack where I can cross, change directions, or cross, or I should say step back, change speed, and my last is my spin move combination where the fender's really tight on my left hip and shoulder. I'm gonna release pressure by spinning. Let's go. Press release, hip swivel. Press release, hip swivel, attack. 
Go finish that. Let's go to the left. Hip swivel. Hip swivel. Finish that. Attack. Now let's talk about stepping back like a reverse pivot. Pressure release. Open up. Change. Pressure release. Open up. Change. Change. Finish. All right. And last one coming. This is my spin move. Press release spin. Press release spin. Press release spin. Win. One more time. Let's go left. Press release spin. Press release spin. Press release spin. Let's win. Nice. Great series for skill enhancement. I'm working on your footwork while dribbling, attacking, being unpredictable, but better yet, learning how to be aware and dominant on the court to attack your defenders. I want to make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the muscle and basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium employer, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.